everybody, it's Kanisha, Miss Kanisha17, and today's video is just going to be a fun little tag. It's called the British tag. And for those of you who don't know, I am British, but I'm also half Irish as well on my mother's side. And I currently don't live in England right now. I'm living in Central Europe right now as an expat. So just to clear the, a few things up, that's all. But I am born and bred uh, British. I lived there until I was about 13. So I feel like I would like to do this tag. I thought if I do this tag, just to bring a bit of my um, inner Englishman out and yeah, just talk about all things British. So the first thing is, which is kind of coincidental since I have a cup of tea in my hand, is how many cups of tea do you have in a day and how many sugars? I typically have about two to three cups a day of tea, um, typically black tea, or maybe um, at night time I have the occasional like herbal tea such as like green tea, chamomile tea, mint tea, something like that. So if I'm having a black tea, I typically have a, about a good fair amount of milk and then maybe about two sugars. But recently I've been swapping that for a teaspoon of honey because I'm trying to be a bit healthier since I drink so much of it as well. So I typically have about two sugars if I'm not having honey. If there's no honey in the house, I would have two sugars. My favorite black tea at the moment is Thai food tea. It is amazing. I love Thai food tea. It's not too, str it's not too weak and it's not too strong. So it's like the perfect... Um, uh, strength as well. Uh, question number two is favourite part of your roast? Um, my favourite part of the roast is definitely either the Yorkshire pudding, oh, I love Yorkshire pudding, is the best bit, or roast potatoes. And now my mum makes at Christmas her homemade roast potatoes and they are delicious. Um, but definitely I always gravitate towards the potatoes or the Yorkshire pudding all the, always, all the time. Next question is what is your favourite quintessentially British pastime? Um, I'm not too sure about that. Um, possibly um, maybe watching a typical British television programme such as, you know, Only Fools and Horses or Forty Towers. Um, Downton Abbey. Um, I'm not really into like Doctor Who or Sherlock or any of those kind of things, um, but I do definitely like Downton Abbey. It's my new favourite TV show at the minute. And anything else, probably just baking. Um, I think baking is a very British thing and I definitely do like to do that. This one is your favourite British word. Oh gosh, I don't know. I quite like um, Spiffing. Spiffing is quite a good word. One British word that I found so hilarious when I watched Only Fools and Horses was when Del Boy talked about the telephone and it was called the blower. I thought it was the most strangest word but the most funniest word and it's so British. Question number six, Cockney rhyme slang. I don't know that many Cockney rhyme slams, just like a few um, here and there um, such as like Ruby Murray which is curry um, dog and bone, phone. And most people just don't use it anymore, they just kind of joke about it, so, and I've never been actually fully educated on it, so, um, but yeah, I do know, like, Ruby Murray and those, the ones I just mentioned, so, yeah, I find it really funny, though. Question number seven is favourite sweet. My favourite sweet from England is definitely, um, fudge. I love vanilla fudge, like, the big cubes that you can get, or, um, it's, like, pick and mix, where there's those of, like, little bins, and you scoop them out and put them in a little bag, and then you weigh it, and then you pay for it. Um, you typically get it at the cinema, or when we used to go to Woolworths, which is a shop that unfortunately closed down now, um, Woolworths was a great shop and they used to have the best pick and mixes in like these big cups, and it was really cheap and you could just go hyper like or sugar on it. Also sweets from pick and mixes that I used to enjoy were the foam bananas, um, I loved um, strawberry laces, um, I don't know if they still have those, and also milk bottles, um, those pink shrimps, oh they were so good, um, little um, eggs, little sweet jelly eggs, they're really cool from Haribo, and yeah, and number eight, what would your pub be called? I honestly have no idea, it'd be something quite girly for a pub, maybe something like the Rose and Fawn or something like that, or the Fox and the Hound, or, or the Rabbit and Dog, or something like that, I'd probably pick something quite feminine actually for a pub, but I do like the idea of a ro the Rose and Fawn. Question number nine, number one British person, ooh, that's a tough one, um, a couple come to mind. I definitely think um, Princess Diana, God bless her soul. She was a wonderful inspiration and a lovely person. Um, also Sir Richard Branson, um, owner of Virgin, like can he get any better than that? And he's very British, you know, he represents Britain very well. I think Emma Watson's a very good influence on the British youth as well. I think she's a very good inspiration for us, especially since she has been in one of the most British films ever made, which is Harry Potter. And I guess you could suggest most of the Harry Potter cast as well. 
Um, so yeah, those are the ones that come to my mind. Um, obviously, like the royal family do as well. Uh, question number 10, favourite shop or restaurant? My favourite shop in England. That's really tough because I know most people gravitate towards Topshop. I'm probably just going to say ones that are mostly like the big ones in Oxford Street. But And I don't go to these all the time, obviously, because um, I'm not living in England anymore. Um, but definitely like Harrods. I would say Primark, but that's the part of Pennies and Pennies is Irish. Um, but it is quite popular in England uh, or Britain. Actually, another shop that I do like, and me and my mum always talk about this, it definitely Marks and Spencers. They have the most gorgeous range of food, um, beautiful clothing, beautiful homeware, um, and I also love it at Christmas time. It's a very nice atmosphere, and they have gorgeous food as well, so I definitely like Marks and Spencers. Question number 11, what British song pops into your head? The first one, obviously, off the top of my head is um, Spice Girls' Wannabe, because that was the first, I think that was the first single, the first album, um, one of the two, um, that was a big hit, and obviously they're all British. Um, and then, like, I would go for, like, kind of the bands that are around in England at the t uh, around that time. Actually, another British pop song that pops into my head is S Club 7, um, Don't Stop Me. They were definitely a big hit when I was a kid, and I loved them. And actually, another British pop song that pops into my head is um, Life on Mars by David Bowie. I don't know why. Maybe because it was based, that was the inspiration for the title of Life on Mars TV series on BBC, which was a brilliant series. If you have not seen it, do watch. So question number 12, unfortunately, is the last question of this tag, and it just says Marmite. So I'm assuming it's asking for your opinion on Marmite. I don't mind Marmite. I haven't had it for a while. I don't hate it, but I haven't had it like every day to love it. But it's all right. I like it. I don't mind it. It's a nice taste on toast as well. So that is it of the British tag. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, please leave comments down below of any other video ideas you'd like me to do. Um, subscribe if you haven't and follow me on Twitter and Instagram, Pinterest and Tumblr. Those links will be down below in the description. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!